everyone, this is Matthew Robert Payne and this is uh, Prophecy for Lipping and uh, that's uh, a different name, I've never heard that name before. Uh, I just uh, seek the Lord and, uh, and pray for you. Um, dear Father, I pray that uh, you'd give me a word for Lipping, a word to encourage her, to bless her, to lift her up and uh, give her something to believe in and hold on to. In Jesus' name, Amen. Um, I see um, a garden, uh, and it's a wonderful garden. It's uh, it's like um, it's like those places you go to. That's just one big garden that people go to relax in and and to look at. I forget botanical garden, um, and that garden is you. Um, that you represent the garden. You. Um, you're a person who um, has uh, got a wonderful disposition. You've got a wonderful personality, and you're really centered on Jesus. You've got a heart after Jesus. You're passionately uh, seeking Jesus and going after Jesus. Um, you don't know um, you, you know other people similar to you, but uh, you don't know a lot of people um, that seek God as much as uh, you do. You're passionately after Jesus. And Jesus did say, uh, Blessed are those who hunger and thirst for righteousness, for they shall be filled. And um, I pray that uh, that uh, he does fill you, um, that he keeps you satisfied. But it's like a, it's <laughs> pursuing the Lord like that is like an insatiable hunger. And uh, so we're always hungry, and the Lord uh, allows that for us to press in and seek more. So um, the Lord wants to say straight off uh, to you that he's really proud of you. Um, we, we often wonder um, how we're performing and uh, how we're doing with the Lord, and uh, he's uh, quick to assure you uh, when he speaks to you that he loves you and uh, he, he's proud of you, but it's good to hear it off a total stranger that, uh, that the number one thing uh, the Lord wants to impress upon you is that he's proud of you. You know, you're, um, you're really beautiful. Uh, to him, uh, you are that garden. Uh, you're a place uh, where he can come and dwell on earth. Uh, you're a place where he, uh, like a person, visits a garden and is refreshed and, and is found peaceful and uh, they find it peaceful and, and a nice day out. Um, Jesus finds uh, visiting you and being around you is as peaceful as a botanical garden and uh, he likes being around you, he likes being in you uh, and he loves uh, sharing you. Um, there really isn't much... Um, that you can do uh, to improve. Um, you've uh, really reached um, this ability uh, to uh, exercise and be Christ to the generation. Of, of course, uh, there's always room uh, to improve uh, for everyone. In heaven, for instance, uh, people improve and go from glory to glory uh, each day. They uh, get closer to the Lord. So there's always room for improvement, but um, you you demonstrate uh, the light of Christ uh, really uh, well. Uh, you, you've you got a, a tremendous uh, love and zeal for the Lord, and it doesn't make you intense, although it could, and you have been in the past, but you've mellowed uh, with the gospel of grace, and uh, you've mellowed uh, more, and you just become sweet as honey. Uh, you, you're... Um, the, the good thing about honey is uh, it never goes off and uh, so you've become like honey that uh, you're pure and your purity is going to last and nothing that comes against you, uh, people rise up against you and uh, uh, the, the enemy has a go at you. Uh, he um, he seems to have many assaults at you and uh, tries to take you out, but uh, you uh, survive those and uh, you go on to uh, better days. Um, you can't, uh, as as much as uh, people say uh, it's so, you can't uh, stop the enemy from attacking. Uh, what uh, you can do is uh, have um, have a good distribution 
disposition about yourself where you can just roll with the punches and uh, it doesn't matter how many times you're attacked that you keep on getting up and persevering. Um, I feel that uh, you've had a recent attack that uh, took you for, for a ride and uh, affected you a little bit. Um, the Lord uh, can't uh, shield you uh, from those attacks much like uh, spiritual warfare people would preach. Um, the Lord has got a reason why um, he allows things in our uh, life to uh, come against us and uh, he uses all those things to uh, bless us and uh, to train us and to equip us. Uh, you can't imagine a general leading an army uh, who hasn't uh, had uh, battle experience. He's not going to lead uh, 10,000 or 100,000 soldiers into war if he doesn't know how to do warfare. And uh, we only become a general um, in the Lord's army when we've been through a lot of battles and uh, sustained injuries and sustained uh, and been able to sustain ourselves uh, no matter what the attack is. So um, the Lord uh, is aware of these attacks and uh, he, he'd like to shield you from them. Um, he, he'd prefer to shield uh, people from them, uh, but uh, more of him wants uh, his people to learn and to be trained. And uh, he uh, understands that uh, they can be hard, but he had a hard life too, and uh, he learned a lot. It says in the Bible that... Uh, that the Lord learned obedience through the suffering uh, that he went through. So even if the Lord had to learn obedience, um, we, we also have to. So he loves you, he's really proud of you, and uh, he's got a lot of uh, insight. I feel um, in the coming months, um, the Lord is going to be downloading and uh, playing um, a lot of revelation to you, showing you a lot of revelation and insight uh, from the kingdom. And uh, he wants you to share that, um, whether, you, um, whether you share that on a blog or YouTube videos or uh, you write uh, a book. Um, I'm not sure which way um, you'll choose, uh, you feel is the best way of sharing that, but he's sharing a revelation for you to um, assimilate into yourself, but he wants you to share it. And when you actually um, put pen to paper or you make videos and, and share uh, the information and the revelation that the Lord has given you, you actually learn it more completely um, by putting it into words and by explaining it. Um, you, the Lord can give us revelation and it, it not go really deep in us um, and the way to uh, process uh, revelation and the way to uh, get it in us and uh, remember it is to teach it uh, and uh, in the process of teaching you've got to really dig deep and uh, find the words to uh, express uh, what you've heard and what you've felt from the Lord and so um, it's not necessarily for the students, it's not necessarily for the people that uh, hear what you say if you do YouTube or read what you write when you write a book, um, it's, it's for you, uh, for, for you to learn and of course um, people are going to benefit uh, from revelation from the Lord and uh, I really feel that uh, you've got books in you. I've written a book called um, uh, Writing and Self-Publishing Christian Non-Fiction and if you um, stop the DVD, uh, the YouTube video here, um, just I'll say it again and you can stop it and uh, listen to it, write it down. Uh, uh, writing and self-publishing Christian non-fiction and that's a book I, I wrote on how to write a book and um, many people don't write a book because uh, they, they don't know where to start well this book will solve that for you and show you how to start and uh, get things done so uh, there's a lot of revelation coming to you. Um, the Lord is very proud of you. Um, the the enemy uh, is not going to stop attacking you. Um, and uh, you've questioned that. Uh, can you reach a stage where the enemy doesn't attack? But he's going to attack all the way until um, you're a great speaker, um, traveling the world speaking and doing mighty signs and wonders. Um, 
that's um, something I haven't said, that uh, you've got a future uh, traveling and speaking and communicating with the masses. And um, you've had that prophesied before uh, over your life and uh, wondered when that was going to come. I'm not aware of when it's going to come, but it is going to come. And uh, I just thought I'd share that with you uh, to confirm those words. Um, you've uh, got a special place in the Lord's heart. Um, he really loves you and you're like a secret garden to him like uh, we shared before and he loves to hang out with you and he'll love to give you revelation and he'll give you book after book after book worth of information to share so um, if you want a publisher um, that helps you self-publish um, I know one uh, and you can get in touch with me and um, uh, I can help you uh, get a good deal with him um, he, he charges more than he charges me, he charges other people more but um, if uh, you contact him through me you could possibly get my deal which is a good deal. Um, I'm not doing that to sell you anything, I'm just uh, thinking of helping you out. Um, I, I pray that uh, you can listen to this, uh, that it blesses you and uh, that you could write to me and give me some feedback. God bless.